Good morning. Today I am going to sink these carburetors. Uh, show you how to do it without any special tools. They do sell a tool that works on a vacuum with your engine to sink them. But what we will use today is uh, just just a screwdriver and what we got here. Uh, and uh, I'm going to use a needle. I learned this off of uh, another YouTube channel called Mr. Max Story. So if you want to go over there and watch his video, uh, it's, I'm going to be pretty much doing the same thing that he does. So this, uh, what we need to do is to make sure both of these open together and at the same amount, like they need to both the bottom, the, the amount of opening needs to be the same exact on both of them when they open. So to do that, there's this little screw right here and it adjusts them. There's also a screw back here. This is the, this is what you can adjust when it's on the motorcycle. If it's idling too high or too low, you can turn it to adjust that. So in that, for this, what we're doing today, this screw, it works this uh, venturi right here. See how the screw touches this back right here. I, know, I guess that hose is in the way, but it hits right on the back of this, this little tab. And that tab, see it's the same right here. It's on the back, it's right on the back of here. And this is where the, the throttle cable hooks. So when you pull this up, it opens it. When you twist your throttle, it opens them. See the tip of that adjusting screw right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a needle. Well, I didn't bring it with me. Let me go grab it. Luckily I left it in the red paper so I wouldn't lose it. So what I'm going to do is twist the screw until this opens. Let me see. So I am turning it clockwise. I'm going to just turn it until it opens. And we want it to open just enough for the needle to fit underneath. So, needs just a little bit more. Yeah, so that feels good right there. Since we just adjusted this one to the correct setting, now we'll adjust this one to match exactly. Let's see where it is right now. Feels pretty good already. But it may just need a hair more. And so what we'll do is right here is the adjustment for this. So I'll loosen the lock nut. It is a 5 16 size nut on there. And then I'll take my screwdriver and I'll just turn it small increments until it feels like it's uh, exactly the same size as this one. So it needs to open just a little bit more. So that feels 
perfect. So now I will tighten the nut back up. They should open at the exact interval. Now they are really sticky, even though I I just soaked them. It seems like they should be a lot. See how slow they go down. I really believe this should be, you know, very touchy. I think it needs to just open and close, or that's how. the carburetors on the other ones that I've worked on. They've been really quick. So I need to do a little bit more work at getting these loosened up a bit. I, I think that that might be what's going on with the with the running because they really seem to be pretty much in sync already. I mean, it was just a hair off, but, um, but the movement is what I'm really concerned about. It should just pop. So I will put some more solvents, make sure I can get all the gunk out of these. I still need to replace, oops, I have this one, I had the old gasket and this one doesn't even have a gasket so I need to, to replace this and also the gasket right here is the old one uh, it's more this is an o-ring and this is a gasket that goes in here and it has a lot of uh, little channels built in where the fuel flows and the jets go so I know it needs to be exactly precise. And when I peeled it off, uh, it was took a little bit of it with it. I saw one place where it probably cut through. It was pretty much intact, so I put it back just for now to see if we could get the motorcycle running, to see if the motorcycle will actually run. But that's something that I need to replace too. I mean, it's not gonna uh, perform up to its ability and standards with faulty parts in it and I did check both of the um, the needle valves uh, when I put it back together and they were moving freely and I was weary about um, adjusting those floats any just because they are so old and I know you only need to bend it like the uh, depth of a biz the width of a business card but but still, they, um, I didn't want to knock it all out of whack. And this motorcycle, even though the carbs are coming and, and um, clogged up, it did only have 7,000 miles on it. So, um, I mean, I hate to just assume that they are in the right position, but, uh, but once all of these gaskets are replaced and if it's still running rough and if it still feels like it's the carburetor, then I'll do some extra fine tuning on the carburetor. But for now, I really need to get the gaskets replaced and, um, and this, this, uh, this valve working more freely. So thanks for watching and hope this helps somebody and y'all have a great night and take care bye bye